The BMW 3 Series for a long time has been recognized as the ultimate entry-level luxury sports sedan for its combination of a luxurious interior, spirited performance, and timeless styling. The current generation 3 Series, which is the F30, was introduced in the 2012 model year and for 2016 it sees a mid-cycle refresh and highlights include refreshed exterior and interior styling treatments, a new 340i model that replaces the 335i, and revised tuning for the suspension as well as the steering. So let's go ahead and check out this 2016 BMW 3 Series. Now you really have to be a hardcore BMW fan to notice the styling changes on the outside of the new 3 Series, especially on the front end. It looks very similar to the 2015 models. And basically, you can option up for LED headlights. That's the biggest change on the front end. It also looks a little bit more aggressive this time around on the front end. But the biggest change on the outside is certainly the tail lights. They're now all LEDs. And then R3 Series right here has the aerodynamic kit which comes with the M Sport package and it comes with these 18 inch wheels which look pretty good in my opinion. The aerodynamic kit does make this 3 Series look a lot more aggressive and sporty looking. Overall I'm a pretty big fan of the styling of the 3 Series. I think it looks very mean and aggressive and is one of the most stylish sports sedans in the class. Now here goes the key fob for the vehicle. As you can see, it's your typical BMW smart key fob. You also do have your unlock, your lock to release your trunk, and then your panic button. And then R3 series also is a 320AI model. Now it's the mineral gray metallic exterior color, which is actually a $550 option. You also do have black leatherette seats. power driver seat with power recline and then you also have power lumbar and adjustable side bolsters too now stepping on inside of the vehicle here it has a very inviting cabin of course the step in height is fairly low but the interior changes are pretty minimal inside of here. Basically you do have a gloss black center console with a lid for the cup holders now. But it's not particularly game changing. But it's still a very luxurious and high quality and a very stylish looking interior. Now you do have push button ignition. Just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. And what you're hearing there is a 2 liter turbo 4 cylinder. Now since we do have the M Sport package, we do get this M Sport steering wheel. I love the 3 spoke design of it. It's very stylish. Of course it is fully leather wrapped too. Now coming to your transmission, you have an 8 speed automatic and in typical BMW fashion. You press the unlock button and then you go up for reverse down for drive and then you also do have manual shiftability via the paddle shifters. Putting the vehicle into reverse that displays your rear view camera of course and then you also do have rear parking sensors as you can hear it's beeping right now. There's also different settings you could change for the rear view camera such as the brightness, contrast, if you want the parking aid lines on or the obstacle markings too. And you also do have front parking sensors as well. I love the resolution of the rear view camera too. And you just go push for park. Easy as that. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the lights. And the hazards too. Automatic driver side window. Let's go ahead and pop up the hood. Check out the engine bay. And to pop up the hood you actually have to pull on the lever two times. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators. Like I said, you do have 18 inch alloy wheels that come on the M Sport package here.
Coming up front, we have halogen headlights. Like I said earlier in the video, LED headlights are an option. You also do have LED daytime running lights, as well as LED fog lights here. And front parking sensors. Now under the hood here, we have the most popular engine choice for the 3 Series. It's a 2 liter turbo inline 4 cylinder that produces 240 horsepower and 255 pound feet of torque. Now it has pretty good fuel mileage ratings of 23 in the city and 35 on the highway, which is incredibly fuel efficient for how much power this vehicle has. Now your powertrain options pretty much do remain the same. Now the 3 liter 6 cylinder turbo engine that you will find on the 340i model now has slightly more horsepower this time around. It is formerly known as the 335i model. And then there's also a 2 liter turbo diesel engine available too. But this engine certainly remains the most popular choice for its fuel efficiency and its decent amount of power. Now competitors for the 3 Series includes the vehicles in the entry level luxury sports sedan class. This includes the likes of the Mercedes-Benz C-Class, the Audi A4, Lexus IS, as well as the Cadillac ATS. Now pricing of the vehicle starts at the 320i model, which starts at $33,150. The 328i starts at $38,350, and then the 340i starts at $45,800 and then there's many packages you could choose from or you can have all-wheel drive or real wheel drive this one we have here is real wheel drive Now as you can see you do have redesigned taillights for the 2016 model year. They are LED taillights with LED turn signal indicators. And then you also do have rear reflectors at the bottom and rear parking sensors as well. Total vehicle price for this particular 3 Series is also $48,000. $220. Now of course all of your basic powered amenities, power windows, power mirrors, and your power door locks are located up on the dash in typical BMW fashion. You also do have power folding exterior mirrors. Nice little luxury touch there. Build quality and materials are excellent in the 3 Series of course. What you would expect out of a luxury vehicle or BMW. You have nice soft touch materials up here on the upper door panel, mid door panel, and the armrest. The dashboard is also softly padded and then it's south through the whole entire dashboard too. This is also nice and soft touch. Everything is pretty much soft touch inside of here. There's actually this hard plastic right here however and it's kind of cheap feeling. Pretty surprised that BMW did that right there. But other than that, this interior is exquisite in its materials. Build quality is also excellent. And there's not many panel gaps inside of here. Many of the interior trim and pieces do fit very well together and you don't hear a whole lot of creaking. So overall, build quality and materials are excellent inside of here besides this little plasticky piece right here. I wish they would make that soft touch. But other than that, it's excellent. Like I said earlier in the video, I really do love this steering wheel for its three spoke design. And then it also says, has the M logo right there too, which is pretty cool. And then over here we have your cruise control buttons, of course, all of the normal stuff. Voice recognition, steering wheel mounted audio controls, and your Bluetooth phone controls. We also do have rain sensing intermittent windshield wipers as well. The steering wheel does tilt manually and does manually telescope as well. There's a really good range of adjustment for the tilting and the telescoping. Coming down here we have dual cup holders with the sliding lid and then you have your controls for your iDrive system and then right here we have your parking sensors button and then your different driver selectable modes and your traction control off button. Right here you have your e-brake which is nice and stitched 
And then you have your center console, which is pretty small, I have to say. But you will find a USB charging port as well as the auxiliary input. The center console it is nice and soft touch too. Up here we do have your auto dim and rear view mirror with the integrated compass. And then garage home link, SOS safety connect, your interior lighting, which are LEDs, and then your sunroof, your sunroof controls. Also with the M Sport package, we get this really nice black headliner. Very high quality. Coming to your AC controls, pretty easy to figure out here. Very simple and clean layout. We do have dual zone automatic climate controls. I wish the knobs were a little bit bigger and the buttons too. But it's pretty simple and easy to use. You have your fan speeds right here, different zones, and then your temperatures. And then you have your three stage heated seats for the driver as well as the passenger. Now coming to the gauges in the instrument cluster here, BMW loves to keep it very traditional with the gauges here. Um, these gauges look like they could came off of a 3 Series 10 years ago. But the instrument cluster is really nice and the gauges are pretty simple, clear, and easy to read. Now down here, basically that's a little information center. It shows you your exterior temperature readout and your fuel range. It also shows you what driver selectable mode you're in too. And then it also shows you what radio station is playing. You could change your media source from here too. And it shows you if you have a Bluetooth phone connected and you can answer and hang up calls from there too. And then it's all controlled by these buttons on the steering wheel right here. And then you have your digital clock way on the side right here too. And then right there it shows you what gear you're in. And then you have your efficient dynamics. Overall, love the instrument cluster and the gauges here though. Now, as far as visibility goes in the 3 Series, visibility is excellent. There's no sloping roof line or anything of that nature. And the side glass area on the front windows is excellent. A pillars are actually pretty thin. Outward visibility is pretty good. Rearward visibility is exquisite with lots of glass area all around. It's really just easy to see out of the 3 Series here. Now as far as the seats go, the seats are very comfortable, would certainly take this vehicle on a long road trip, but you can also take this vehicle on twisty canyon roads as these seats will hold you in place pretty well. They provide excellent amounts of thigh support and excellent support on the side bolsters too. Alright, now coming to the iDrive system. We've seen this system many times here before. It's a 6.5 inch screen up here and it's all controlled by this dial right here with the touchpad and the buttons surrounding it. Now this is your main menu here. Now coming to your different media options. Your different media options includes all of the norm. It's Bluetooth streaming audio, auxiliary input, and your USB port with iPod integration. And then you also do have a CD player with your optical disk drive. Now coming to your radio basic stuff here, AM, FM, HD, radio too. I for also forgot to mention that we do have a Harman Kardon sound system on this bad boy as well. Now of course you could set your presets and then you have your tone, treble, bass, balance, and your fader and your equalizer settings. And then right here on this upper section of the controls we have your presets right here and then this is where you'll find your CD player slot and then you have your different modes you could select and then your AM FM too. And then you could turn off your radio from there as well. Now let's get to the telephone. Basically you can hook up your Bluetooth phone, have a phone book, view your received calls, you could dial by number, all that good stuff. Now what I really do love about the iDrive system here is the crisp and clear resolution. One of the best in the business. Now let's get to your navigation. Now to enter an address you could do it by voice, you could do it by the points of interest or your stored address book. Or you could do it last by last destinations too. Now let's go ahead and enter in an address. Let's go to California of course. And then your house number and then you can do it by the touchpad here. I'm going to enter in a three. Three. We'll just recognize that. Pretty cool there. Let's go ahead and try it by voice. Navigate to 780 Automall Drive, Roseville, California. Processing your input.
780 Automel Drive, Roseville. Start guidance or add as another destination? Cancel. Pretty cool there. Let's go ahead and go to the map. Now the map is one of the best maps in the business. I really love the, the iDrive Systems map for the navigation. It's just very crisp and clear. We also do have live traffic and then 3D rendering of buildings is also available. Now you can do if you want voice instructions or not for your um, destination or you can uh, view your points of interest on here and then your routes available gives you your traffic info of course and then you can choose your different map views you could do a view facing north or a direction of travel view perspective view or a route overview very nice now coming to contacts here you can have your contacts start on here and view your messages enter in a new contact too for your phone or anything and you have your connected drive and then you have your BMW assistance basically roadside assistance gives you your messages BMW online customer relations and if you want to request service and then you have your BMW connected apps you can access many different apps through your smartphone data connection and then coming to vehicle info you can view much information about your vehicle from the owner's manual the efficient dynamics you can search by the pictures and then we also do have your tire pressure monitoring your engine oil level you can measure the engine oil level if you want to and it shows you if you have service required anything's going wrong with your vehicle pretty cool there and then you have your onboard info vehicle status sports displays from the power to the torque very nice and then you have your regular settings that you can change on the iDrive system from the touchpad many different settings you could change here from the time to the date language units speed climate lighting driving mode doors and keys and then you can have a software update too and then you do have ambient lighting on this vehicle now which wasn't a feature in the past for the 3 series now let's go ahead and see the different driver selectable modes now your different driver selectable modes includes your eco pro mode that's the most fuel efficient setting here and then you have your comfort mode for everyday normal use and then your sport mode and then your sports plus modes which basically turns the traction control off now the sports mode will change the throttle response a little bit also change the changes the steering too and the suspension now just like before the 3 series is still one of the best luxury sports sedans to drive all around it's smooth and very comfortable and quiet ride make it a great choice for family road trips and then also it's very precise steering and handling make it a great choice for BMW purists now the 328i model we have here with the 2 liter turbo 4 cylinder provides ample amounts of power while still being very very fuel efficient especially for how much power this vehicle has but one annoyance I do have with the 3 series is that it does have the automatic start stop system and it can get intrusive on a daily basis but thankfully you can turn the automatic start stop system off and basically the automatic start stop system is that when the vehicle comes to a complete stop the engine will actually shut off to conserve fuel that may may be a reason why this vehicle earns such high fuel economy numbers but like I said it can be turned off but overall the 3 series provides a very rewarding driving experience however some people may notice especially BMW purists may notice that the driving feel isn't as organic as it used to be in older generations but it still provides very precise handling and a lot of driver engagement alright and let's go ahead and shut down the vehicle let's go ahead and check out the rest of the car build quality and materials do follow through in the rear 
Still nice and soft touch on the upper door panel, mid door panel on the armrest. Now, there are some nice luxury touches that you can opt for back here in the 3 Series, such as heated rear seats. Now, you do have dual mat pockets back here, rear air vents, and then a 12 volt power outlet, and then a rear center armrest with cup holders. Now, overall, the 3 Series back here provides one of the best rear seats in the class. It's very accommodating back here. There's lots of headroom and a decent amount of leg room too. It's not as cramped as the Lexus IS. However, the Mercedes C-Class does have a little bit more room. And then back here you'll also find LED lights. And the seats themselves are actually very comfortable too and they provide a decent amount of support, especially on the side bolsters. Really love how the trunk opens all the way up. Now trunk space back here in the 3 Series is okay. It's average for the class. You have a little storage pocket on the side right there. And then a 12 volt power outlet. Powered passenger seat with power recline and power lumbar. You have your glove box compartment right there. Nice and damp and line work belt. So with its well balanced driving dynamics, its very fuel efficient and potent powertrains available, and its very luxurious interior with many luxury options available, the 2016 BMW 3 Series remains a remarkable choice in the luxury sports sedan class. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.